Welcome back guys to yet another World of Warcraft video on this channel. Today we are going to be talking a little bit about an enchanting material shuffle. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys might know about this, but for the people that do not, I do want to have a video here on the channel so I can link it to people that are asking questions about it. But also just for anyone out there in the audience of people that are watching this video, if you guys haven't seen this yet, you should definitely consider this for the type of goal making that you might be doing. Now, before we do get into it, I want to make sure that you guys like the video and also subscribe to the channel with all the notifications on. And I also do want to thank all the patrons over on Patreon for supporting me greatly every single month. Thank you guys so much for always doing that. And also, if you guys are interested in any of the benefits over there for anyone that isn't participating, um, you can get access to TSM groups, uh, sniping list for point blank sniper, which is for Oceanator. And then you can also get access to a very long document of daily gold making activities for an alt army. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, then absolutely go ahead and check the Patreon out. There's a link to it down in the description, down in the description below, but probably also in the comments. But let's get straight into this video so what i want to talk about today is two different professions obviously enchanting is one of them and tailoring is the other one now you can do this you can do an enchanting shuffle with other professions but the one that i'm doing is tailoring and tailoring is usually also the cheapest one so what we are going to be looking at is how much you're going to uh, need to be able to set this up but also uh how easy it is to set up so in tailoring all you need is to pick up tailoring and you literally just need to learn surveyors cloth bands from the trainer it doesn't matter if you can craft it at rank five it's the same thing you get the same thing out of it when you disenchant it but getting to this point is really easy you can see the recipe difficulty is only 40 you don't you don't need any knowledge points you don't need nothing to get this you get it straight from the trainer and that's it so if you do this on an alt that's completely okay for enchanting though you are going to be needing just a little bit you are going to need to go into inside of the blue 10 points into inside of the blue because then you can unlock a sub specialization which is going to be draconic disenchantment and draconic disenchantment the one that's really important specifically for this shuffle is getting at least halfway so at least 20 points into in into a draconic disenchantment is what you're going to need to make this shuffle really good additionally after that It'll get you a plus five chance to acquire additional reagents when disenchanting items, which matters. And then eventually you get a higher chance of gaining resonant crystals from weapons. Okay, so getting all the way to 40 is actually really good because additionally, the draconic disenchantment says learn to better recover magical reagents from items, gaining plus one chance to acquire additional reagents when disenchanting items report in this specialization so it'll be plus 40 percent when you're all the way done with this so you should really get this done before you do a lot of disenchanting now it's really easy to get 50 points in enchanting if you do all your weekly profession quest you collect your one-time collectible treasures you talk to a master artisan and if dark moon fares up you'll get some extra points it'll take you probably within a week you can do this also if you get a bunch of first time craft bonuses Otherwise, you'll get it in the second week. It is it is not hard to set up. Now, for the actual craft, okay, is I'm going to show you guys, instead of telling just telling you random numbers, I'm going to show you how much you get out of disenchanting when you're at that point, okay? So I'm going to craft 100 of these, and then we're going to look at the results that we get out of 100. And then I explain what happens, talk about some percentages, and talk about the percental per... I can't even speak the potential gold per hour okay it might be in the thumbnail it might might already be in the title but just to give you guys an explanation of how you can figure it out for yourselves so i'm going to craft these i'm going to speed it up with movie magic rendering edit magic and we'll be right back so as this is crafting i actually thought about a little something to give you guys an idea of how fast you can actually craft this, depending on your crafting speed, which you obviously you could get a tool to increase the crafting speed, but it's actually better to have a resourcefulness uh, tool, which you know I actually forgot to talk about. Getting as much resourcefulness as possible is the best case scenario here because it'll save materials as you're crafting it, which actually makes your whole process a lot cheaper. Now, 
Resourcefulness is very much connected to how many uh, skill points that you have. So you might not be able to reach the same percentage that I have, but if you can get a very cheap uh, quality five green tool that's going to give you 79% or plus 79 resourcefulness. If you want to put an enchant on there as well to make it even better, that is also something that you can do. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about is uh, you can obviously craft these things a little faster uh, with using a aerated file of quick hands, which is what I have here an aerated file of quick hands it increases crafting speed by 30 percent so that is also going to be very worth it they're super super cheap usually um and with that you can craft probably probably around like 1800 from from the looks of it 1800 an hour if you continuously craft without stopping so sending them to an alt or something like that about 1800 an hour maybe a little less depending on how quick you are at it and um then it also something that you have to consider in the other part of it is that you're going to have to disenchant every single thing now with disenchanting you're going to have to click every time obviously you can use something like the tsm destroy which will disenchant or you can make macros for it it doesn't really matter which way that you do it but those are some options that you can obviously think about in a perfect mathematical world you can also do about like 900 uh disenchants an hour give or take but obviously that doesn't take any lag into account it doesn't take any you know if you're not constantly paying attention to it into account so obviously that can be a little bit lower but the numbers that we're showing is the maximum potential that you have potential for but obviously think about the fact that it can be a little lower but now uh you can see we've crafted well we've crafted 98 of them so we are actually not going to have space for all 100 we could just delete some of this we actually don't need this because we've already reached what we need so we'll make another two of these uh so we can have that let's throw that out boom and then all that we need now is to disenchant these i actually made one too many we're going to delete it to make it perfect um and i have 22 of these oh, we gotta make it good we gotta make okay there we go i know it's wasting a little bit of gold but to show you guys how how it is we're gonna disenchant all 100 of these and then we're going to see how many enchanting materials that we get okay that's the uh, that that's what we want so i'm gonna cut to when that's done and then we're gonna talk about it so it has now been done we disenchanted all 100 of the bracers okay and by the way, to just double mention it again, to double time mention it, the cloth bands, okay, the cloth wrists, bracers, whatever you want to call them, they are the cheapest option in uh, tailoring. So that is the one that you're going to be crafting is the one that is actually worth it. So from 100 disenchants, we got 89 vibrant shards, pretty good. And we got 198 chromatic dust. So let's put it together. We are crafting... Uh, without considering any uh, pr profession stats from the beginning, we can account for that later. We crafted 100 bracers and we spent uh, wilder cloth on it that we spent 9 gold 65 on. So if we say that'll be like 38 gold plus spools that are around 4 gold each. So that is another 16 gold on top of the 38, which would be a total of 54 gold. So we spent again 100 times 54 for a total of 5400 now what we got out of it was 89 vibrant shards and 198 chromatic dust so the chromatic dust currently is you know two free gold so we'll say two 2.7 uh, and after the auction house cut so if we say 2.7 uh remove the auction house cut 2.5 we'll just say 2.5 times 198 I hit all the wrong buttons. Uh, there we go. So that's 500 gold. These are currently going for about 80. Um, but my TSM values are not showing the right number, which I'm pretty sure of. If it's at... Okay. <laughs> that's what I get for using somebody somebody else's lone boy. Uh, the auction house is also incredibly slow, but that's besides the point. Right now, the vibrant shards are... Yeah, so 78 is the accurate price. So we'll just say after the auction house cut, probably 75 or something along those lines. So 500 gold, so we'll say 75 times 89 
plus 500 gold. So just based on that, and this is with the auction house cuts considered into it, that is an increase of 1,775 gold, which is like 20% profit, right? Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit more, like 25% actually. But yeah, 25% profit. Obviously, if you scale this up quite a lot, then that is where you can have it. Now, uh, if you're looking at a per hour kind of thing, based on the numbers that we did, you can do about 1,800 crafts in one hour, and then you can disenchant about the same. But obviously, you're going to have to spend time doing that. So if you take 1,800 crafts, if you take 1800 crafts and you send it over to an alt and then continuously disenchant all of it, then that would be the most accurate thing. Now, if you could do that, then just to make it easier, 900 crafts and then 900 disenchants. That's the way that we'll put it. That is, is the best possible way of explaining it because it takes twice the amount of time to get the end product. You have to craft the first item, then disenchant it, and then you get it, right? So, 900 crafts, 900 disenchants, your gold per hour. So, this was 100 crafts and 100 disenchants, okay? And obviously, we can do, again, 900, as I just explained. So, we could take this profit number and times it by 9, and that's 16k an hour. Now, obviously, this is not anything super insane, but considering the fact all you have to do is stand AFK and craft a bunch of wrists or bracers and tailoring and then just click disenchant over and over and over again. That's all you have to do. This is very simple gold, pretty AFK kind of gold. And it is certainly something that you could do to prepare for a reset day to potentially make a little bit more gold. Or if it's just, this is just a very safe way of, uh, of making gold, a very casual way. You don't have to think very much about it. So that is the way that you can put it. Now, overall, depending on your uh, resourcefulness, you could obviously save a little bit more gold. As you can see, we actually saved 30 Wilder Cloth, which would be, you know, another, at that point, probably another, like, what, 400, 400 gold, give or take. Free 400? No, it'd be 300, a little under 300 gold. But that's not uh, that big. We also saved some spools of Wilder Fred. So maybe it'd be like an extra four to 800 gold, depending on how many procs that you get. But that's not anything to really think about too much. But that is, that is the way it is, about 16K. Now, obviously, this depends on the region. It depends on the day. It depends on so many. There's so many different variables. So obviously, this number can be very different depending on when you see this video. That is why I wanted to, to explain the thought process and how I calculate the profit for these things so you guys potentially could do it yourselves. Um, but yeah, this is how it is currently at the time of recording this video, and uh, this is everything that I have for it. It's There's nothing else to it. So I hope that that was helpful to you guys, or at least interesting. And uh, if it was, make sure you drop a like on the video. And also, do type down in the comments below, uh, what, what, what should it be? What should it be? Ah, KitKat. Type KitKat down in the comments below. Not sponsored, by the way. I wish, but yeah, that's what I saw in front of me. So type KitKat down below if you watch this far into the video. But yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching the video. And until the next one, see you guys.